to the show. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. folks, uh, I, I realize I'm fully aware that I come across as a pretty buttoned up guy. But there's one thing I love. It is rock and roll, which is technically two things. That's why way back in March, uh, it had been suggested uh, by somebody, I don't know who, but somebody had publicly suggested that Donald Trump's wall should be paid for by crowdsourcing, like Indiegogo or GoFundMe. And uh, I used an actual GoFundMe page for a rock band named Flaw to explain the flaw in this idea. <laughs> so in this scenario, Donald Trump is the band Flaw, and the wall is Flaw's new van. <laughs> Flaw needs a new van to make it to their upcoming concert at Spicoli's in Waterloo, Iowa. <laughs> and Donald Trump needs his wall to stop Mexicans from all rushing into America, I assume, to catch Flaw at Spicoli's <laughs> in Waterloo, Iowa. That's right. Flaw is a real band that had a real GoFundMe page that was really asking for $15,000 for a new tour van. They were only a few thousand dollars short. And after that shout out from me, you, the Late Show community, stepped up and agreed that you don't care if Flaw needs a van. <laughs> what gives? I don't. Did you not see them at Spicoli's? They rocked it. I was surprised and frankly disappointed. So a few weeks later, I mentioned Flaw again in a joke about Jeff Bezos. You've got $130 billion. You could give it to education, uh, poverty, fighting climate change. Hell, the new metal band Flaw still hasn't earned enough money on GoFundMe to pay for their van. Come on, they're only $1,500 short. How else is Flaw supposed to get to their next gig at Foo Bar in St. Louis? And this time, you folks really stepped up to the plate and then stepped away. Because you still, there's like $50 between those two totals there. 50 bucks. You still did not raise enough for Flaw to get a van. So I just bought Flaw a van. And. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And I invited all the members of the band, say their names with me, Rob, Tommy, Chris, George, and Dan, the tall one, to come to New York and check out their new wheels. Jim? I bought Flaw, the best van that $15,000 could buy. It had everything. Wheels, a pedal that would make it drive when you pressed on it, and this old discarded glove. It was time to officially present this bad boy to the bad boys. Flaw! and also help them decorate it to make it feel a little more metal. I'm not a huge uh, metal head, but I love the Scorps, obviously. Okay. You guys into the Scorps? Yep, yep, absolutely. Scorps, Scorps fan? How do, you, how do you guys feel about, um, do you guys like Grinder Switch? I'm not familiar with that. Mind Corps? Not familiar with that. Autopsy sorry. Turvy? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that. Abracadaver? No. I'm no? Sorry. Blood Barrier? No. No? You don't know any of those bands? No. Nope. All right, good, because I made them up. Okay. Yeah. I was just testing you. I was just making sure. Okay. All right, guys, I'm super excited you're here. Um, let's go Thank and decorate you. the van. Absolutely. Come on. Flaw! <laughs> there it is. Look at that. It's perfect. Here's a little throw rug. Yeah, you can arrange those around a little bit. Don't just throw them. There you go. <laughs> just some beanbag chairs. And, of course, they've got seat belts. Safety first. For safety, exactly. Strap yourself in now. All right. Strap yourself in. Got it. Obviously, you're going to be on the road for a long time. You get lonely. What do you guys need? You need a pet. So we got your cat. Oh. Hi. Hello. Are you ready to rock out? There you go. All right. And then put that right there. If you take a corner with the litter box in there too fast, it's going to leave a mess, so we got you guys a Roomba. Oh, oh he's fine. No, you don't have to worry about the Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> this, thing's, this thing's smarter than we are, okay? This is your new tour manager. <laughs> it gets lonely on the road, I imagine. You know? Yeah. What do you miss, family? Yeah. All right, we got you guys a mom. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Holy. There you go, guys. Hey, 
Hey, you guys hey. are great. There you go. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. You're terrific. Thank you. You're terrific. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Are you ready for the road life? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I think I can do that. All right, now imagine it's right after the show and you've just seen the play, and then well, what do you want to say to the boys? You boys were really great. You really kicked them in the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, let's all sing a song. Mom, what do you know? Splish, splash, I was taking, taking a, a bath. Long, long about, about a Saturday, Saturday night. night. When Take I it. step out the door, put my feet on the floor, I wrapped the towel around me and I opened the door and then... Splish splash, I jumped back in the bed. Well, how was I to know there was a party going on? That's rock and roll. Of course, no band is complete without a glow bag. You guys, got you guys a little something for the road here. All right. You got everything you need. Season one DVD of Kevin Can Wait. You know, in season two, his wife dies, and no one cares. <laughs> how metal is that? That's pretty metal. Okay. What else we got? Oh, and one sock to put on the door handle of the uh, van. Well. You know, if the van's rocking, it's because you're a rock band. Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Yo, suspension! <laughs> Yo, suspension! <laughs> What's the name of this band? Oh! <laughs> Wendy. What's the name of this band? Oh! I'm sorry. That doesn't spell flaw. That's flaw. It really looked like flaw at first. With some finishing touches, there was just one thing left to do. Christen this van for its maiden voyage. I hereby christen this van flaw. Okay, guys, enjoy your van. Here, I wouldn't drink that for a while. Flaw! Rock on, Flaw. Sorry about your head. Thank you, Flaw. You can see Flaw and their van September 1st in Waterloo, Iowa. And you guessed it, Spicoli's Flaw! <laughs>